Setting out his vision for the role of business and how he believes it as a whole can come together to rebuild trust, please join me in welcoming the Director General of the CBI, John Cridland, CBE. Right here, right now. Peter, thank you very much for that introduction. When you extended me an invitation to be here today, I couldn't wait to take you up on it. It's a fantastic occasion to be a small part of. It's a really great thing. It's becoming more and more British to celebrate success, and it's lovely to have something great to talk about. Frankly, it's a welcome change, because the headlines over the last 18 months have supported the notion that it's so much easier for us to focus on the negative. From horse meat to big bonuses, energy prices to business taxation, business has rarely been out of the headlines and too often, for my satisfaction, for the wrong reasons. You and I know there's so much more we could and should be celebrating. Everything we do at the CBI is about achieving sustainable growth and making it possible for flourishing businesses to deliver prosperity in Britain. I passionately believe that the private sector is at the heart of driving growth, creating and supporting jobs across the country, delivering for consumers and giving back to communities. Business at its best is a great force for good. Now, it's the consumer side we're here to focus on today. All of you who have been shortlisted demonstrate how the most successful businesses and customers at the heart of what you do makes your businesses what they are. First and foremost, then, we should never forget that business operates for its customers. I look forward to the day when business is up alongside which as the consumer champion. Every day, businesses of all sizes in every corner of the UK are trying to deliver for consumers. For example, by improving the choice and quality of products. Those of us who can remember 20 years ago with any clarity can remember the limitations compared to today of what was actually freshly available in supermarkets. The vast improvement in choice has been great for business. The food industry is a huge British success, supporting 300,000 firms across the value chain that provide food for consumers. And it's not just the big boys either. At the CBI, we work with plenty of smaller brands that are thriving on delivering choice and top quality products. I'm thinking of speciality suppliers and growing exporters like Cheese Cellar and Welsh Whiskey. Business is also driving the invention of new technologies that help make our lives better. Not so very long ago, in the retail banking sector, for instance, you needed to be in a branch between nine and five to manage your money. Today, accounts, transfers and payments can be managed across a mobile phone at any time of the day. 45 million of us are managing our bank accounts online. Innovation empowers consumers. And then listening and responding to consumers makes great business sense. And you'd have spotted the plot here. I'm deliberately choosing markets that have been under reputational challenge. So let's look at energy. Improving energy efficiency for our homes is a win-win situation. Better insulation, more energy efficient products have already helped cut energy usage by 20%. The cost-cutting benefits for consumers are obvious. It's a growing industry worth 17 billion sterling in sales, supporting 140,000 jobs for any innovative firms wanting to expand in that particular market. That's the good news. Yet we have to take the challenge seriously when it comes to raising the bar in delivering for consumers. Business can only realise its full potential when it has public confidence, and recent years have shown that this cannot be taken for granted. I may have the privilege of being Director General of the CBI, but believe me, I can be as frustrated as the next consumer by poor business activity. I can't stand being on the end of bad customer service. Who can? It really grates me when I get stung by a poor quality purchase or at the end of the wrong contract. We've all been there. This sort of thing chips away at people's confidence in business, which has unsurprisingly taken a significant reputational hit in recent years. 
Survey research conducted for the CBI by YouGov revealed that the economic crisis and high-profile industry scandals had had a large impact. 60% of respondents told YouGov that they think business does not do enough to regain trust when it has first been damaged. A majority of respondents agreed that business makes a positive contribution to society. But only half. Half didn't. Not a great place to be in. And don't forget, the frame of reference is constantly challenging. Our expectations of business are so much higher than they were only 10 or 20 years ago. 55% of those responding to the survey agreed that the expectation of business to do the right thing was now higher than it had ever been before. Taken together, those sorts of responses from our consumer base tell us that doing the right thing is a significant challenge for business. If we don't, well, it's simple, really. Unless the public is confident that companies are acting in the interests of consumers, employees, communities, and the economy as a whole, the people I speak for, businesses, small, medium, and large, lose the right to be listened to in the media and with our political class on the big questions that shape the environment in which we all have to operate. The time has come to tackle this problem head on. So I want to set out a positive challenge for all businesses to make an in intentional and obvious step forward, building on all the good work you've done to go even further in delivering for consumers. And I guess I'm talking, Peter, to the people who aren't at this witch celebration. As a business community, we should go further to put our customers front and centre. Our survey with U YouGov highlighted that people rank providing value for money, putting customers before profits, delivering what's been promised, and providing good customer service as the four most important influences affecting trust in business. A direct connection between the work of which and the work of the CBI. Maintaining business as usual won't wash anymore. We can't justify what we do unless we're seen to be going the extra mile to address customer concerns and meet their needs. So going forward, my positive challenges for business are these. First, be transparent. This is what 79% of respondents to our survey wanted. Customers want to know whether companies are behaving in a way they find acceptable to help them make informed decisions about what they buy. At the CBI, we've been supporting our members to become more open about what they do and how they do it. For example, our members have already developed a statement of tax principles, including guidance around transparency and reporting for companies. More gener generally, throughout the business community, we need to get even better at sticking our heads above the parapet, explaining what we do, why we do it, and how we go about it. Secondly, to acknowledge mistakes. Not something we're always terribly good at. We know that business doesn't always get it right first time. Who does? In all walks of life, people make mistakes. And I think the Positive Change Award, which you have at these celebrations, is all about demonstrating what change can achieve in putting things right and giving customers a better deal. And finally, don't be afraid, business community, to shout louder about the success stories, as well as putting right what has gone wrong. As I said a few minutes ago, business already has a great story to tell when it comes to delivering for consumers. All of you shortlisted today are a testament to that, and it's great to have the opportunity to celebrate your achievements with you. We should be doing much more to share your best practice and promote the best of what business does. The companies represented here today, I think, Peter, Natasha, are the vanguard of the business community in delivering for consumers. I hope we can encourage more firms to follow your examples. In addition to coming here today, I look forward to working with which, as a partner, even more closely over the coming year to showcase the best of what British business does, to explore in more detail what companies can do to address your concerns. Building public confidence in business is no easy task. We're not going to change attitudes overnight. It'll see me out in this job, I'm sure. But the task is a critical one. Thank you and congratulations to you all today. The best of British. Yeah.